Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the 20% Botonic Acid Yellow Healing Oil. This is the 15 milliliter size bottle of the Botonic Acid Yellow Healing Oil. This oil is says that it can be used on your face and your body. It contains water, ethyl alcohol, benzoyl, alkanum, chloride, propylene glycol, glycolic acid, and retonic acid. This is a treatment to remove dead skin cells. It whitens underarms, dark spots, scars, stretch marks, and all types of skin discoloration of face and body. It says it is recommended for first time users. And it says that it has the ability to make your skin whiter or smoother. So I purchased this bottle from eBay and I purchased the bottles as a treatment for this scar and this scar that I said in a previous video that I am trying to remove and along with some other really faint dark spots in other locations. So I use out the entire bottle. It's completely empty and as you can see from my arm, it barely removed the scar. This is the strongest consistency that they have, the strongest strength that they have. They offer in, I believe, 3%, 10%, and 20%, but I know that my skin is stubborn and it tends not to peel and flake and shed skin the way others do, so I did opt for the 20% solution. This is my first time using this product, and I will say, honestly, it didn't work for me. It particularly didn't work here and here. On some other areas, it did cause my skin to peel off a little bit and remove some of the dead skin that was on the top layer, some of the hyperpigmentation that was on the top layer. But for these particular scars, which were the main reason why I purchased them, it had little to no improvement in the appearance of the scar. So the instructions say to apply a thin coat, wait 15 to 30 minutes, apply a second coat, wait 15 to 30 minutes, and apply a third coat. There are different directions depending on who you purchase it from. Some people tell you to use that method of three layers every day for three days and then to stop. And at that point, your skin should start peeling. When your skin starts to peel, you can then apply a oil moisturizer and moisturize the area and just allow the skin to peel off as it naturally would. Other directions say apply the three layer application every day until peeling starts. For me, I applied three, sometimes four layers twice a day for, I think, a week the first time. And like I said, on this scar and this scar, it did not peel. On other areas that were really, really faint, it did peel, but it was like a light micro peeling. So micro peeling is when your skin likes looks dry and ashy and it just comes off for a little bit. I had that kind of look. The skin peels off. I moisturized it. I took a bath as usual and it just continued to peel and then it stopped. For the two deep scars that I have, that kind of peeling did not occur at all. There was no micro peeling. There was no peeling in sheets. There was no pain. There was no soreness. I did have one area that was kind of tender beforehand, not before because of this. And when I applied it, it stung a little bit and that area did peel, but it didn't peel completely. So it didn't completely remove the mark that I was applying it to. So I would say for people who are like me that have really, really, really stubborn skin, if you are buying a bottle of yellow peeling oil to treat scars or marks that you're trying to get rid of, do not buy a large bottle. Buy a small bottle like I did because I wanted to get a large bottle and just do everything. <laughs> I just wanted to go to town with it, honestly. But I was skeptical about whether or not it would work for me because I know that my skin is very resilient. If I tell it that I don't want a mark, it's going to keep the mark. And if I tell it don't create a mark, it's going to create a mark. So there are other things that I'm doing for these scars in addition to applying topical treatments to them, but I just wanted to review this product for other people who have tried to use it. I know there are other use it, other people who've used this product and said that their skin peels off in sheets. Like I've read reviews and seen pictures of people whose whole skin peels off, like peels off and they were like three shades lighter than what they had been used to being. I did not have that experience at all. Even on the areas that did peel, like I said, it was micro peeling. It was light. It wasn't a major intense deep peel whatsoever. And I was obviously looking for a deep peel because that's what I feel like I need 
for these two scars. So I kind of am going to say that this product is a miss for me because it didn't give me the result that I was expecting on any of the areas that I use it on. I did have mild peeling on some areas and no peeling on others. So as I said before, if you want to try this product on a scar or acne marks and you're skeptical about how it will work for you because you have stubborn skin, buy the smallest bottle possible, try that out, and then go for a larger size. So that's all I have to say about the 20% Retonic Acid Yellow Peeling Oil. As always, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe to my channel. Until next time.